Bengaluru continues to receive rainfall and due to the downpour last night it has caused a inconvenience to the lot of commuters in the city and also that many areas houses roads underpasses were actually flooded and right now we are in Sakar Nagar here in Bengaluru and we can see right now here in one of that uh, house that we are going to enter to try and show you what exactly how exactly in fact the house looks like because the whole uh, house was in fact waterlogged is what we are given to understand from the residents over here here there you can see in the visual somehow that uh, the house members have been managed to clear some one part of the house while other part of the house still remains to be with that of a muddy uh, completely with the mud and that dirt that which has actually entered the house that i'll also request my vj riyas to enter this particular room to show you how it exactly looks like so what residents over here say that in this particular area that almost around 50 houses are having similar scenes and in fact they are now finding it difficult to clear clean as well because it's the weekday that they have to go reach their office as well for the work purpose but today they were forced to take a leave as well while other that the members also say that they were also they also had to request the school authorities as well to actually give a holiday for their uh, the children as well because they couldn't really take their kids to the schools as well so that's the inconvenience that has been caused to the people here in the IT city but however what uh, uh, the, in particularly that what the government is saying here right now is that due to the continuous rainfall since Saturday that now the officials are uh, on alert and now what the deputy CM DK Shukumar also says that the officials have been given that instruction to be ready to face any sort of uh, challenges as well and be ready to uh, in fact receive all those causes concern calls as well and help the residents immediately whenever they get the calls. So that's the message that has actually been put out to the BBMP and the other civic bodies as well. If you can tell us uh, exactly how you are seeing the situation, in fact, because continuous rains in the city and this area continues to flood. Right. So the rain usually started around 7.30 and we thought, you know, it's not going to flood, but we never expect this to happen. So within half an hour of time, three feet of water just gushed in and every item over here was just floating around and it was a very tragic loss for us. So every monsoon, we do not expect this, but it always happens. Whereas the government or the MLA doesn't take any action, no matter how much ever we complain and whatever actions have been pressed. And whenever we try to call the authorities, they you know, keep their phones switched off during the situations. So it's always a tragic loss. We, you know, we do not have food at home right now and we'll be hungry for like maybe two days, three days. And it's not advisable to have takeout food all the time. Well, you see what the residents here say that the government should actually swing into an action immediately whenever there are these kind of calls that are made to the civic body uh, offices. In fact, so most of the time their phones turn out to be switched off and then they don't attend the calls. So that's what causes them more inconvenience and it becomes difficult as well because now the normal life is out of the gear uh, at, at such situations. But however, as said, you see, needs to be seen how will this government actually try and tackle the issue that remains to be important. But moreover, what IMD, according to the IMD, the heavy rainfall accompanied by thunderstorms is likely in the next 24 hours.